Yo guys, how's it going? Mad guys here, and the day is getting closer to Zetsuboi no Shima. And a lot of leaked gameplay has been floating around the internet today. I believe a lot of YouTubers are going to be posting their videos later on this evening with a lot of cool coverage coming from all the big YouTubers, which is fair play to those guys. They got the chance to go play it early, so they get a chance to upload it early. But my channel will be inundated with videos tomorrow for the new launch of DLC 2 Eclipse. For the next few weeks, I will be covering it constantly on my channel. So make sure you come back to my channel tomorrow for the launch and we'll be doing some live streams. But let's just get into today's video. I'm going to discuss some of the things we have seen through a few leaked videos. I will link them in the description. I will not be showing them on my channel as I do not want to get any kind of strikes until tomorrow. Well, I don't want to get any strikes anyway. So first things first, the video shows the whole map and my god, this map looks insanely huge and dark and scary but let's just get into the main details that you guys want to know so the starting pistol the mr6 is returning which we kind of knew that we kind of hope we get a new starting pistol but it didn't the menu the hood style is exactly the same as the giant we have new different like uh options and selection menus like item and buildables and stuff like that on the other menu and one of the items is a bucket which consists of the bucket itself and three seeds and these seeds drop from the zombies and you can hold three seeds at a time so that thing we've seen in the trailer like the weird puffer fish icon thing that is a seed and you plant the seeds at certain spots with the like uh it's kind of like the stone like path around it uh with kind of like markings on it what we saw the trailer anyway and you water the spots and plants come out of them and stab all the zombies which is pretty cool so you can activate that and you can do it every round every round they will grow if you water your seed so it's kind of like what farming simulator or some shit other items that we have are a shield which is kind of self-explanatory we have a gas mask which is three parts now the gas mask i'll get into in a little bit machine tools we're not entirely sure what machine tools are maybe it's for using for the perks because i'm sure you've got to power up the perks completely separate there's not one power switch that powers them all but so far we have seen stamina up in the map maybe use the machine tools for that we have a kt4 which is in three parts maybe that is the new wonder weapon and a skull which is part of some sort of challenge in the center of the map so anyway let's get into all the little details before getting into the big stuff so there's orange lumps on the side of the wall which release an orange dust of cloud if you shoot it. And if you stand in too close to the orange dust, it will stun you. And obviously, this is where the gas mask comes in place. You build the gas mask, and this will counteract that. But we're not entirely sure yet if it stuns the zombies when you shoot these orange glows on the wall. If you watch the video, you'll see exactly what I mean by this. And the boss zombie monster thing that we've seen in the trailer, he is not as exactly as big as we thought he was. And simply to get rid of him, you shoot the orange glowing lumps that is on his body, and that emits the same gas as what the wall gas does and he dies as well but the cool thing about this he can actually eat the player so he eats the player and you automatically go down into revive mode inside of that motherfucker's stomach and it's up to your players or that your friends in the game to kill him to be able to revive you so that is pretty cool but like i said he's not massive he's not as big as what he's perceived in the trailer but it's pretty scary that he can actually eat you damn dog rounds they've been replaced by spider rounds the spiders now when you're actually on the spider round will block off the doors with spider webs and you can destroy them with your knife and you get the animation to actually knife the doors that they have blocked up and in the center of the map there is four skulls so i'm not sure how this is part of the easter egg with the skull of non subway so there's four skulls and you can pick them up and you can do kind of different challenges one of them is destroy a certain amount of spider webs another one's water five plants and stuff like that so there's four challenges for each skull each skull gives you something different obviously it'd be easter egg related definitely the argos can be bought off the wall as well which is awesome a lot of people wanted the argos to buy it off the wall so now you can buy that and you can get the hg40 from the mystery box no longer have we got to worry have we got to get this in multiplayer before we can get in zombies nope it is already available from the mystery box and the mystery box itself has the same design as what the giant and uh, eisen tracker has and like I said before, you need to activate the perk machine separately, kind of like what Mob of the Dead was and Shadows of Evil. Maybe you've got to do it with the machine tool part. Maybe, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, there's parts of it in the video that's unclear because it's really, really like bad quality video. But like I said, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go check this all out because it looks absolutely insane. The zip line once again requires power. And that is pretty much all I gathered from this, other than the fact that the map is insanely large it really really is and it looks so cool and i cannot wait tomorrow to play this and live stream it for you guys also a note the gobble machines do return and they seem to be like a yellowy color they don't seem to be red anymore they seem to be yellow maybe it was just the way the video was but yeah it is awesome this map looks insanely big 
Really, really cool. Really looking forward to it. There's some points that we've getting out of today's Elite gameplay. I will be back later on this evening if I find any more cool information to share with you guys. Like I said, you can check out the video in the link down below. I'm not showing it on my channel, but go in the link down below, watch the video for yourself. And yeah, if you did like this video, comment down below what you think. If you're new on my channel, please subscribe and continue to dropkick your grandma.